Okay, yeah, so Dokkan just had their 8th year anniversary fan meeting live stream. We actually got a lot of information pertaining to the 8th year anniversary, which I was not expecting, but I'm glad they gave us all this info. So we're going to take a look at everything which transpired throughout the live stream. And we'll begin actually with the fan meeting because there were a few questions which were answered in a bit of a Q&A section of the live stream. Shout out to I Seriously, shout out to uh, Ranmop because I believe this guy is the guy who translated I think so again, shout out to him. Let's, let's take a look. Question one. Why does the red zone only have three attempts? Actually a pretty good question. It's strange because I, I thought they'd like increase all of them up to five because that's what they did with the Super Dragon Ball Heroes version but... Uh, it is what it is. Alright, so answer one. There have been many comments on this topic. The main goal was to add difficulty, but they may remove this limit in the future. Now, if I remember correctly, because I was watching the Truth livestream, Goresh was translating a few things. They did mention that they they may, uh, something may happen for the 8th anniversary. I'm not sure if that means that they're going to, uh, as it says here, remove the limit in the 8th anniversary, but we'll have to wait and see. Question two, we have, have you ever thought of an awakening after the Supreme Z Awakening? So that's Extreme Z Awakening. It hasn't really been decided yet, but in any case, the cards would eventually age in any case. A more permanent solution should be found. Yeah, this is another thing. It's, I don't want to say this is a non-answer, but again, there's not really much I suppose they can give away, right? Are there non-interesting character cards? Yamcha, Videl, I believe Ginyu was mentioned, right? Yeah, he was. Planned. Answer free joke on land fan in a swimsuit. Okay, I, I believe, um, I think he was saying uh, we can definitely think about releasing these types of characters, but we want to know why you would summon for them. And I think the, the the main reason is like just power, right? The, the, the reason why Ginyu is so popular, not because of like the popularity of the character, but just because of how powerful he is. So I think that is something that they should really focus on. All right, question four. Are there any plans for a new feature to play with friends even offline? So this is like a co-op type question. Not in the moment, but maybe in the future. Yes. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it for that. Question five. This is a very interesting one. Will there be pity in the game? The answer for now is no. An overhaul of the coin system is not planned for the game, nor the addition of a pity. I believe Amatsu even mentioned that there are some of the games that do this, but as the answer suggests right now, there is no permanent solution. And then question six. What do you think of the Tenkaichi Budokai in the game? Yeah, the World Tournament. There would be things to keep and others to remove i think again it's one of those non-answer style questions they are thinking about changing um but they don't know what to remove and as it says what to keep so that is something they have to think about and i think this is the final question here so we have question seven are there characters already released and interesting who will reappear in the future yes is the answer it could the characters are already decided until the 10th anniversary of the game so this is interesting i believe i believe this is just like a this has to be like a beast gohan question right because beast gohan technically is in dokkan but it's only via an active skill and so uh, that makes sense uh, eventually they will re-release these characters eventually and this is i think the biggest takeaway they've actually I, again they mentioned this in the live show and matsu mentioned this they've already planned out or they have a rough idea in their head of the character releases up until the 10th year anniversary, which is crazy because we're only eight years in. They, so they they are confident that they're, they're, they're going to go for another two years easily, which is very good. That's very positive news to see. Again, huge shout out to iSeriously and then uh, Randmark for those translations. So the 8th anniversary theme, could you guess it, guys? It's going to be Spirit Bomb theme. That's the 8th anniversary logo. It looks pretty neat. We have, of course, these two being the, uh, the main characters, right? The part one character. We have a Spirit Bomb from the Boo Saga, and then we have a Spirit Bomb from Dragon Ball GT. This is going to be the login bonus, so we can see the coins, stones. Uh, these are the dozing Elder Kai's. We have the thank you tickets. And then these are just the, the regular 8th year anniversary tickets. are so all pretty good stuff. I think it mentions it, yeah, we get three Dragon Stones a day, which is very nice. I'll be, what, roughly like 90 Dragon Stones throughout the course of the celebration just by logging in, which is pretty good. We then have, of course, this LR ticket banner. This was teased in V-Jump, so... Nothing really new here, but I like to see this guy here, SDR Piccolo. For those who summoned on the uh, LR Orange Piccolo banner and you don't have SDR Piccolo, this is going to be pretty good news. Of course, JP, will, not JP, but Global will have to wait for quite a while, but uh, this is still pretty good stuff. And I think similar to last year, depending on the amount of tickets you use, you're guaranteed a certain number of LRs. Right? I think it was even mentioned in Region, but I think if you use 30 tickets, it's one LR, 40 tickets, it's two LRs. And then like if you use the full 50 tickets, it is going to be free LRs. And yeah, some of these LRs are really powerful, right? Golden Freeze is immaculately powerful. That's not even the right word, but <laughs> let's just go with the flow. Uh, these two are still pretty strong. And then Zamas, who's very, very strong as well. But then, of course, brand new store events. We have this one. Uh, I can't remember what this translates to, but in this, we'll be getting a free-to-play Hercule. This is from the Cell Saga, right? Or was it Boo Saga? I can't remember. This pose, the punch. Isn't this the punch that he lands on Cell? I think it is. Again, correct me if I'm wrong in the uh, comments below. I'm also looking for assets. Uh, these are not none of these are new assets. I don't think except the Hercule, right? This is taken from the LR Goku and Gohan. Uh, this is a pre-existing asset in the game. I think this is the 
uh, physical ally Yamcha, I think, and then the SSR for Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And then we have the second story event in which we'll be able to grab a support memory. Now, like, I don't know, this looks like, is this, a lot of people are saying World Tournament. This Piccolo looks to be from the World Tournament, right? I mean, the only reason why I say that is because you can see the floor here is the World Tournament floor. Although, like, the, the Piccolo himself, this does not seem to look like Piccolo Jr., right? Piccolo Jr. has a very different look compared to Piccolo for at Dragon Ball Z, but, again, maybe I'm just blind. Uh, and I think this support memory as well is taken from that. Again, for me, at first I thought it was Saiyan Saga, but I think this is when Goku says to Piccolo, you can give me a free punch, because, like, I think Kami intervened. So, uh, at that point, Piccolo just punches him, and he goes flying into the, the, the alternate world. Right? I think that's taken from that scene. So, that's going to be interesting. I'm hoping this means that we get some more OG Dragon Ball stuff in the future. Uh, apart from that, we have this Kid Buu and then like Rebirth of Kid Buu story event. Of course, this is, um, oh my god, what's his name? <laughs> I forgot his name. Uh, Oob. Oh my god, yeah, Oob. Uh, with this Oob story event, we'll actually be able to obtain and farm a free to play Barbody. They have not told us if it's going to awaken into like a Barbody and Boo, a Barbody and Bibbidi, or like a Barbody and all the minions. It's just at the minute, it's a, it's being marketed as an LR Barbody. The category, uh, bonus for this particular store event is actually Worldwide Chaos, so that's nice. And then, yeah, the big stuff, the, the actual LR. So we're getting a Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. And then we're getting a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and then a base Goku from Dragon Ball GT. What's interesting about this is that Omatsu, actually during the live stream, he looks straight deadpan at the camera and says, uh, I apologize. I, you, because, I, because, of course, everyone was thinking back to the statement that he made a few months ago where he said the anniversary characters will net will that are going to release will, would have never headlined an anniversary before and so he apologized for that because of course like it's goku and vegeta again and more importantly ss4 vegeta is here right i, th I don't think yeah you, these two have never headlined an anniversary and neither is base gt goku but this guy has so that was interesting i found it to be a very very funny topic these are the banners these banners look absolutely insane as i always say regardless of whether you think these characters are hype or not i mean for me i think this is in the past few years this is personally the least hype character release for an anniversary but like i'm not i can't say anything because these banners are going to be best banners in the game i think these two will be the best units in the game and uh the banners looking absurd now if you haven't noticed already these are both dokkan best banners and it's been confirmed that for part one we're going to be getting this and this and they're both dokkan fest lr so I, it's very confusing it's very surprising because during the worldwide celebration they did mention that they were gonna go with the part one Dokkan Fest LR, Carnival LR format, and then part two, they'll repeat the same thing. But they've now just given us two Dokkan Fest LRs for part one. So it's going to be interesting to see whether they give us, again, two Dokkan Fest LRs for part two, Yellow Coin LRs. Well, I think what it will most likely be is the Carnival LR. But uh, again, we'll have to wait and see. Like, it's going to be very weird if they're not Carnival LRs because Carnival Goku and then at that point, Metal Cool will be stuck in limbo. And both those units are very powerful indeed. Again, these banners are crazy. Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 will return, which is a bit of an L for Global. Unless they bring them back for some sort of random celebration on Global. Which is good for me though, because I don't have the Gams. I don't have Cooler, so this is very good. We have the Gods Returning, we have the Super Saiyan 4s. And then we have these two. I don't know if this is a two separate banning units or if they're joined forces unit. But we have Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. The artwork, by the way, looks really sick. And then I have Piccolo. And then we have a new level of power. That this, I believe that title is taken from Dragon Ball Legends, right? We have Ice and Nova. Of course, the band, that's not, not the band new, but the brand new LRs themselves. And then we have Goku and Vegeta and then Cooler. So good stuff there. And then, of course, finally, there's going to be a live stream for the 8th anniversary, which will commence on the 29th at 5 a.m. CET. I think it's going to be, yeah, 1 p.m. Japan time, which is kind of, that's kind of, that's going to suck because I got to wake up early for that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I will just skip over the Reddit because there might have been stuff that I missed. But there is definitely stuff that I missed, right? So let's take a look at Quentin here. Again, he shout out to the Dokkan sub. Okay, so Speed Battle should be live right now in JP. They said when the stream ended. I didn't know that, so that's some new information. That's good. All of the responses from the servers, they do help them to dictate on who to release. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't... Again, that's something that we missed. Can we get some more OG Dragon Ball, like, <laughs> comments in the surveys then, please? Amarch explained that for standby skill, they will, they will be able to replicate the Spirit Bomb scene of Goku charging the Spirit Bomb while Vegeta and... Uh, while Vegeta Dragon Ball Z and Vegeta Gohan Trunks and others in Dragon Ball GT fight the enemy. Standby skills will come with voices will be the protagonist of the first part of the 8th anniversary. Yeah, again, we don't know what the second part is going to entail, whether it's going to be the opposites of these characters, so Kid Buu and Omega, whether they'll go for the Spirit Bomb theme again. If they do go for the Spirit Bomb theme, realistically, there's only, what, like, Namek Saga, and then maybe, like, Tournament of Power they could do. I mean, I suppose they could go for the Saiyan Saga. But let me know what you guys think. Are you guys hyped for Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, as well as Space Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta? I'm kind of on the fence, and, uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.